welcome back to the channel strip where we channel our energy into learning new things and strip away negative misconceptions in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i connect my m audio oxygen 49 to my logic pro i'm going to show you two basic functions firstly i'm going to show you the record play and stop and secondly i'm going to show you how to assign faders um, to your different um, automation parameter and how to map those accordingly to your preference. I found this a little bit tricky to sort of get my head around as I started and as usual I had the help of a friend and um, one of my multiple friends and I also used other YouTube videos and blog pages and stuff to sort of siphon out what I wanted but let's just head off and get that done now. For the start, stop, play, record functions, what I did was I went to logic, I went to key commands, I went to edit. And that's a command key if you want to do it faster. I go to play. Well, I searched what I wanted. So here, let's say play. Search what you want, right? Click on learn assignment. I'm just going to delete that for the time being. Learn assignment. Okay. And then I click it on my mini keyboard. So learn assignment. Now, if you then go to my MIDI, play functions okay next we're going to do the same thing and we're gonna map our record button I've already mapped these so that's why I have to first of all delete them then map them but search what you want click on it go here um, and then learn your assignment and press what you wanna use on your MIDI and now if I come back here I've got my record that's how I mapped it and so you can do the same thing then for the stop function command K or go into logic preferences drop down menu and um, key commands edit search your stop button click on your MIDI learn assignment first click on your MIDI and then insert and that'll get you going on that end next we want to assign you see all these knobs here I want to be able to record um, my music and use my faders, these guys here, to be able to, to control that. So let's do that very simply. What you do is very simple. You press B, brings it up for you. You press I, it shows you this, this side here. Okay, click on what it is that you want to map. So I want to map my, do you know what? Let's map expression because I use that a lot. Okay, so click on expression, come here. Do not click the parameter mapping okay that got me confused as well it's external assignments because you want to externally assign your M audio to your logic so you click the learn you can see that came up there and I'm going to assign it to the fader number nine here C9 and the numbers on my MIDI is 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 changing okay and that's it and then I click the next one learn I put it on next one learn I put it on next one learn and so on and so forth and it's a very simple process that way and the same goes for if you're using um, a stock and um, one of logic stocks so I just click that there press B my eye comes up press the I button here and parameters I don't need to learn this again but um, they have been assigned so um, learn assign and work your way through them until you have everything assigned according to how you will best function with your workstation and that is it guys that's the whole video um that's what i want to share with you guys so um yeah just keep learning and keep um updating yourselves and keep growing i've had this mini keyboard for about i don't even want to exaggerate like four years i haven't ever mapped it to any of my workstations i started with garage band and then i started using pro tools and now i'm using logic Um, i may well try try cubase at some point in the future but I never mapped um, my functions because I never saw the use, nor did I understand the use. But now that I'm developing it in my growth and growing and learning new things and channeling my energy that way, I'm learning to use these things. I initially was going to buy a, a fader and then I realized, what the hell do I have a MIDI for? And let me use a fader on this. So I'm glad I put that together and here we are today. So I look forward to keep learning things and showing them with you guys. Any questions, pop them in the comment section. And I'll be happy to help with any pointers of things that I can work on. I will also be happy to learn. So there you go, guys. Um, continue to channel energy into learning new things. 
and stripping away negative misconceptions. Have a good day, guys.